Electric motors are everywhere in industry. When these motors fail, the costs of downtime are very high. Lost production, lost profit, and loss of confidence if the failures were unforeseen. Many sites use vibration monitoring on their motors. This is good, but vibration monitoring misses up to 50% of motor failures. These failures are due to insulation failure and motor operating point problems. Let's look at each. AC induction motors make up the majority of industrial electric motors and are covered here. DC, synchronous and other motor types will not be covered in this video. Industrial AC induction motors use magnetic fields to cause the shaft rotation. Magnetic fields are created by electric currents. The AC power source provides the currents that flow in the motor. The stationary part of the motor, the stator, is made of several wire loops which are physically aligned to create strong magnetic fields. Due to the AC nature of the power source, the magnetic field direction rotates in the center of the stator. In the center of the stator is the rotor, the part of the motor which is connected to the shaft and rotates. The rotor has no electrical connections to the stator or the power source. Rather, the magnetic fields of the stator induce currents to flow in the rotor. These rotor currents create a magnetic field which interacts with the stator magnetic field to create the shaft rotation. The stator insulation is most prone to failure. Insulation strength degrades over time due to heat, electrical stress, mechanical stress, abrasion and contamination. The most common insulation failure is between turns of wire that are next to each other in the same coil. This is called a turn-to-turn -turn fault. When this fault occurs, the motor will draw a lot of current, quickly overheat, and can melt down in minutes. The surge test can reliably find the strength of turn-to-turn -turn insulation, giving you early warning about when the insulation is weak. When the insulation fails and there is a path to the core, it is called a ground wall insulation failure, since the stator core is at electrical ground. Oftentimes when a motor overheats or has a turn-to-turn -turn failure, the excessive heat will cause a ground wall insulation failure also. Ground wall insulation strength is measured with the Meg Ohm test at low voltage, but this test misses many ground wall insulation failures. A better test is the DC high pot and step tests, which measure insulation strength at higher voltages. Stator insulation faults are responsible for about 30 to 40 percent of motor failures. One of the major causes of insulation degradation is heat. To understand more about what causes excess heat in the motor, let's look at the entire power motor load system. Electric machines are designed for good incoming power conditions. When power conditions deteriorate, excessive currents can flow in the machine, generating excess heat and shortening machine life. Incoming power tests look at voltage and current levels, distortion and balance. Electric motors are designed for specific conditions found on the nameplate for the motor. This includes things such as voltage and current, but more importantly, motor speed, torque and load ratings. Running a motor in an overloaded condition can quickly reduce the motor lifetime. The machine load is what provides the benefit of the machine. Moving air, compressing air, moving rock, pumping liquids, moving a vehicle, processing pulp, etc. Ideally, these loads do not overload the motor, even temporarily. By measuring electric motor torque, the machine load can be examined in real time. SKF Electric Motor Condition Monitoring Solutions completely address the faults not covered by vibration monitoring. SKF Static Motor Testers completely assess the insulation system of the motor. These tests are run when the motor is off, disconnected from the AC power source. The most common insulation failure is between turns of wire that are next to each other in the same coil. This is called a turn-to-turn -turn fault. The surge test is the only test that can reliably test turn-to-turn -turn insulation. The surge test also finds phase-to-phase -phase and coil-to-coil -coil faults in the stator windings. Ground wall testing is done with a Meg Ohm test, but Meg Ohm test alone is an incomplete test of ground wall insulation. To completely test the ground wall insulation, High voltage step, ramp and high pot tests are also used. 
SKF static motor tests are non-destructive and follow IEEE and IEC motor testing standards for motor insulation testing. Additional tests available include resistance, inductance, and capacitance for verification of motor winding construction. Now let's look at the motor operating point using SKF dynamic motor analyzers. The operating point is measured while the motor or machine is energized and operating. Connections are made to measure the motor voltages and currents. Electric machines are designed for good incoming power conditions. When power conditions deteriorate, excessive currents can flow in the machine, generating excess heat and shortening machine lifetime. The SKF EXP4000 and NET-EP analyze incoming power, including voltage and current levels, distortion and balance. The motor performance itself is analyzed using motor speed, torque and load ratings. Motor efficiency is also presented. Running a motor in an overloaded condition can quickly reduce the motor lifetime. The load performance is analyzed by looking at the motor torque output. The output torque required is determined by the load. SKF Dynamic Motor Analyzers allow you to look at the load torque in real time to find even temporary overload conditions or machine faults, such as cavitation or unbalanced loads. All operating point measurements can be done on line-driven and VFD-driven machines. Monitor your entire machine systems with SKF Vibration and Electric Motor Condition Monitoring Solutions. Doing so will help give you early warning of failures and allow you to take action to extend machine life. For more information on SKF Electric Motor Condition Monitoring Solutions, go to skf.com slash emcm.